so I've never did any one of these before. I'm just mad. I'm so mad. I'm in tears. And I feel like venting because I got something to say. So I just left a 10 year marriage. I came into the marriage with three kids. Wow. You came into the marriage with three kids? That's a lot. That's a hell of a lot of uh, responsibility without authority for a guy going into that situation. That's for sure. You know, he, he, it's been a lot. It's been a bumpy road these last 10 years. And, you know, finally enough was enough and I got tired of his abuse. My point. You know what? I just want to point out something that because I know ladies watching this video and some men are watching this video and you hear the word abuse. Um, understand that that definition is thrown out like water. If somebody doesn't agree with some of these women, it's abuse. If these women can't get their way, it's abuse. So don't just hear the word abuse and think it's some kind of physical domination or something like that because a lot of times it has nothing to do with that this is just a word that they like to put out there and throw out there to make it seem like they're in so much turmoil or they're being oppressed and abused so just you know kind of when you hear that word ask for more details and is you know pay attention to the signs pay attention i've fasted i've prayed for this man I've begged him, I pleaded, and still there was no change. I've laid in the dirt with him. And that one thing that stuck me, that stuck me, he didn't change. You can't change anybody. But see, a lot of women get with men thinking that they can change them. They think that my, what's between my legs is golden and I'm the best woman in the world, and he's going to change for me. You can't make people change, men or women. They are who they are, and they are who they show you. The minute you try to change someone, you're already losing. So we were talking today, and this is what set me off. We were talking today, and I was telling him, my, our oldest son or my oldest biological son doesn't even claim him, him as a father anymore and his response was it is what it is and I said as long as you've been around that's your response well I mean first of all you did say that you left a 10 year marriage relationship right so what type of responsibility or connection is the guy supposed to have? It's not even his child. And for all those men out there that have been in the same situation where you get in a relationship with the woman that already has children, and I did this myself, so I know firsthand. Do you know how difficult it is for men to get in relationships like that, especially when it ends? Because a lot of times, as soon as it ends, the woman is making sure that the kid hates the guy or kids hates the guy. She doesn't want her kids to have anything to do with the child whatsoever. But all of a sudden, that's the man's fault. He already came in the situation at a deficit because he has all the responsibility without authority. And it hurts a lot of men. Do you know how it feels for a man to go in a situation like that, especially when these kids are little you spend all these time you spend years you're taking them to school you're helping them with homework you're doing all this and then when everything hits the fan so to speak or the relationship ends the man instantly becomes the worst person in the world the woman doesn't want the man to have nothing to do with the kids anymore doesn't want the man or his family to be at graduations anymore special events anymore it's like that man and his family no longer exist so while I understand her pain and I understand that she feels that her son is being slighted now, but ma'am, you left the relationship. You should be thankful that the guy even decided to get with you in the first place when you have three kids by somebody else. 
you got lucky that you were even able to have a relationship. The guy is fed up. And again, I, we don't know the whole context of this story. Of course, she's going to get in this video and make it all about the guy doing something to her. But what has she done? There's no way in God's green earth that if a man's going to come into a relationship with a child, and I'm going to be so callous about that child. I'm going to reassure them. I'm going to reaffirm them. I'm going to affirm them and let them know that I'll always be there for them. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, we still have to make sure they're good because they did not ask to be here. Look, when I left the relationship in the same similar circumstance, I said the same exact thing to the kids that you just said. I'll always be here for you. I'll always love you. And that will never change. You know where those kids are now? I haven't seen them in years. They don't care about me whatsoever. It's like I never even existed. But that's fair too, right? That's fair too. See, the tears that you cried and the, the regret that you have is not because of him. It's because of the actual father of your children, not him. So why don't you shift some of that blame to that man or those men and actually give this man credit for stepping into your life when you had three kids that didn't even belong to him and boys let alone but many people can't handle that level of maturity so once again i'm stuck here trying to figure it out pay attention to the signs if someone really wants to be with you, it should flow. You're gonna have issues, you're gonna have problems, but it should be a willingness to be there. A willingness to flow through things and figure out life to make things worth work. And I'm realizing now, at the age of 36, four children later, <sighs> learn your lesson from me. Yeah, learn your lesson. Stay with the men that you actually have children with and stop expecting another man to step in and be the 100% father with all the responsibility and none of the authority. See, I don't believe the crocodile tears. I don't. Now, I can sit here and I can look at her and I can tell that she's definitely not fit. She's definitely not in shape. That could be an issue. That could be something to where the guy's saying, you know what, she didn't look like this when I met you. I'm not attracted to you anymore. I need you to be more like you were when I met you. And she could refuse. She probably did refuse because a lot of times when women get in relationships, definitely when they get pregnant, they let themselves go. They figure, I got the man now, I don't have to do anything. He's gonna always be around. But if you don't stay how you were, and if you're not trying to get back to who you were when the person first met you, you can't be upset that they're not attracted to you anymore. Now, I'm just speculating because I don't know the full context, but I'm just telling you from what I see, that is an issue for a lot of men. We don't know if the, the uh, father of those three children that she had beforehand was still involved. Maybe there's some drama with that. We don't know that. Maybe he's in prison maybe he's no longer alive you know there could be a whole bunch more to what she's saying but of course she wants to get in the video like the majority of women do and blame everyone but themselves but then she says well learn from me how are women going to learn from you when you can't even learn from your own mistakes you can't even take responsibility for the choices that you make now you had three kids before you get into a relationship with this man you had another child. 10 years is a long time. 10 years is a long time. Wouldn't it have been beneficial to say to yourself, you know what? I've been through this shit once. I have three children by somebody that's not there. I want to make damn sure that this doesn't happen to me again. And I'm going to exhaust all my resources to make sure it doesn't happen again. But see, a lot of times in relationships, what happens is women just don't take accountability for anything it's always the man's fault always now does that mean that it's not sometimes the man's fault of course not 
two people in a relationship, two people to blame. Everybody has to have their own scale of accountability. But what you see is that usually women refuse to take accountability for their actions. All they do is blame men. Ladies, if you get in a relationship, you have some children, especially if you have three kids with somebody, stay with him. Work that shit out. Don't get in another relationship and have another child with somebody else and then let that one tank too. You're just losing. And your kids are the biggest losers. Because I tell you what, the example that I gave you with the children that I had an experience with, I did see them uh, a few years ago. And, um, you know, the look in their faces to see me was, happy but at the same time confused and at the same time angry because their mom is right there and you could tell that they kept looking at her to see what her reaction would be you could tell that they said I gotta pull back a little bit I can't show too much love too much affection for him even though he was in our lives for damn near 10 years I can't share anything with them I can just give them this smile and this hug and that's it so Ladies, take some responsibility because while there's some bad men out there, obviously, a lot of times this situation ends up with the man wanting to still be involved, the man saying, I love them just the same, and the woman saying, no, you cannot be involved. You cannot have the same type of relationship. And a lot of times, you know why they do that? It's because they don't want the ex to know what they're doing now with the new men the new boyfriend so anyway that's all i have for this video let me know what you guys think about it in the comments like i said i don't really know the complete context but let me know what you think the real issue is you have the power to achieve anything you want don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals and remember stay focused stay strong and stay positive Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.